logic board replacement for Mac Mini 2014. The tools we're going to need are a T5, T6, T10 screwdrivers, a TR6 security screwdriver, tweezers, prying tool, and thermal paste. Here's a TR6 screwdriver, which is a T6 with a hole. Let's begin by flipping over the unit and uh, hitting that like button. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and pry in with our plastic prying tool. Just get underneath and then twist it like left to right and the panel should pop right up. There are three uh, wide TR6 screws and then three small TR6 screws. This is the TR6 screwdriver. It's kind of hard to find that bit. Let's go ahead and remove those. You can't remove them with a regular T6 because that little uh, um, post in the middle of the screw blocks it from going in. So you need the special screwdriver. With those six removed, you can go ahead and start pulling up on the antenna, the Wi-Fi antenna. Be careful, it's still attached to the uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. Uh, right here, go ahead with the T6 screwdriver, remove that screw. And then you can gently, with tweezers, go ahead and pop out the antenna and disconnect it. Now we can move this out of the way. The fan is held in with three T6 screws. Go ahead and remove those. I like to just leave them in place um, and just lift up the fan. Uh, as you lift it up, you can see it's still connected to the logic board. Carefully with tweezers, get underneath that cable and just gently pull it up. Don't be too rough with it. You can definitely rip this cable. Okay, let's remove this T6 screw. It secures the logic board to the case. It's a long screw. Now go ahead and remove this uh, uh, shorter T6 screw that uh, holds the bracket and connects the hard drive to the logic board. Once that's removed, go ahead and peel back that connection and unplug it. Now go ahead and unplug the sensors cable right here by gently going underneath it. Try to do this with a plastic tool. With that out of the way, go ahead and push down on the logic board as you're holding the case and start pulling it out. It should take a lot of resistance. Once the logic board starts coming out, go ahead and pull out that power cable. Uh, from the power supply and then you can just pull out the logic board it's free next let's flip over the logic board and let's remove this tape that's covering the PRAM battery just uh, peel it off press down on the battery and make sure it doesn't pop out with your finger and then it should come out just like so flip the board over here uh, the speaker is secure with two T6 screws Go ahead and remove them. They're different sizes, so make sure you put them in the orientation in which you took them out. The speaker is still attached. Go ahead and pry in underneath and disconnect the speaker from the logic board. And just put that over to the side. Let's remove this T6 screw uh, that connects two antennas together and holds them from slipping. Go ahead and pull those two antennas out away from the Wi-Fi card. Now go ahead with a T5 screwdriver, remove that black screw that secures the Wi-Fi card, go ahead and pull that out. Go ahead and disconnect the power button right here. And now we'll just need to remove the following T6 screw uh, that guards the cable to the logic board. And then these T6 screws that uh, guard the uh, cable right here, go ahead and pry that out. Uh, this screw right here and then this fourth one there's four of them one on one cable and three on the other and just pry that cable from underneath the heatsink okay those are free on this side now flip the board over we'll need to remove these four uh, T6 screws on the bottom and once we remove these four screws that rear plastic um, that's guarding all the IO uh, should be able to come right out as you can see here, uh, we'll lift it up here and give you a little better angle as it's coming out. Just prize out just like so. Okay, for the heatsink, the heatsink is secured with five screws. There are four clearly visible T10 screws right here. Go ahead and remove those on the bottom right, bottom left. 
uh, top right and um, top left. Those are removed. Go ahead and remove that T6 screw right there on the right. And that should release the heat sink. You could just lift it up. Reassembly. If you've purchased a used heat sink, make sure to wipe off any of the residue from the previous installation. You can do this with a cloth or a paper towel. The same goes for the CPU. Make sure that all of the thermal paste is wiped off and it's nice and flat, clean surface. Now go ahead and apply thermal paste on the CPU die, the small one right here. Just one dot and then a stripe line on this GPU, like you see here. We can place the heat sink back. It should smear uh, the uh, thermal paste uh, on the rest of the die with the pressure. Go ahead, reinstall the four T10 screws, one on the opposite perpendicular corner at a time. Uh, slowly screw them in. Now next, that T6 screw then plug back the Wi-Fi card, secure it with the T5 black screw. Now let's reconnect the uh, rear I.O. Uh, housing. Just make sure to align it. This might take a little bit of time. Uh, once that's in and aligned with all the holes, let's uh, start with the bottom first uh, and secure those four T6 screws as you see here. Now let's uh, flip it over and start securing those cables. Go ahead and loop that cable through the heat sink underneath it. As you see here, let's align those little clips and then fish the cable underneath. Go ahead and secure the, all, the one all the way on the left, then the next one, then that third one on that long cable, and now secure that fourth one on the short cable. Now go ahead and put those together and clip them into the Wi-Fi Bluetooth card. Uh, you should see there's that last screw that connects both of the cables and attaches them to the logic board. Make sure they're aligned properly and go ahead and insert that T6 screw in and tighten it up. Now let's reconnect that power button. Okay, with the power button secured, let's flip the unit over. Reinstall the PRAM battery by uh, putting it in like so and clipping it in and then covering it with the uh, residual tape that we peeled off. Now let's flip the unit back over. Okay, let's secure the speaker by connecting it first. Make sure it's a nice and tight firm connection. Align it with the two posts. Screw in the uh, uh, thinner, smaller screw first on the top and then the wider screw on the bottom. Let's reinstall the logic board. Go ahead, slide it in in, in the following orientation. Don't push it in all the way. Make sure you have enough slack to plug in that power cable from the power supply. This should take some playing around, but you should be able to align it, push it in, make sure it's all the way in. Now go ahead and push the, the clips in on the sides and make sure to push the logic board in all the way once you got the power cable hooked up. Uh, keep pushing it in. You might feel some resistance. You might have to pick the case up a little bit and then Push it in where you feel the resistance, and it should be able to go right in like so. Reconnect that sensor cable right there by pushing it into its socket. Reconnect the hard drive. Make sure that's in and clicked in all the way. Once that's firmly in and secure, go ahead and put that bracket back over it. Go ahead and secure that bracket with that T6 screw. That bracket keeps it from popping out. Next, let's uh, screw in that post that holds the logic board to the case. 
Now the uh, fan, go ahead and uh, put it over the socket. Apply some pressure with your finger to click it in. Align it. Go ahead, put that long screw in on the bottom. And go ahead and secure those three T6 screws. Um, you can do it with your finger too to get it started. With those three secure, let's go ahead and reattach the Wi-Fi antenna. Go ahead and uh, align it with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. And go ahead, guide it in, and make sure it pops in nice and firm into that socket. Just kind of twist it in and align that uh, little uh, retainer uh, hole because we're going to need to secure this last T6 screw right there. And then let's just go ahead and tug that cable in a little bit, align the Wi-Fi uh, uh, antenna cover, and let's secure the three uh, wider, longer post screws uh, first. These are the TR6 screws with that little safety in the middle. And then the other three smaller TR6 screws. With those connected, we can go ahead and place back the cover. Make sure to align the cover holes with the longer uh, TR6 screws. And then clip it into place. And now you can flip the unit back over and we're done.